according to Igor, 13% chance of getting 8,000. Yeah, that's that's really gray area. We'll we'll that's a good point. We'll go over that gray area of misinformation. Slash clickbait. Yeah, we'll go over that. Uh Igor's lab. Oh my god, dude. Did you see that buildzoid is like, look at these binning statistics. And then hardware unboxed underneath it was like yeah but intel told me it was 8000 possible i'm like I, just dollar signs are going off in my fucking head dude i'm like yes the more misinformation these mainstreamers spread the more the more rare that they make 8000 megahertz seem the more money i can charge for my bundles dude yes that's that's how you play 4D chess. I don't go and try and stop these people from spreading misinformation. I monetize that shit, dude. It's like, yeah, dude, 8,000 is impossible. Uh, only two out of 15 chips can hit 8,000. So I, I, I have to, sp how much is that, dude? It's so fucking good. So good, dude. Um, uh, six hundred dollars for a fourteen nine hundred k times uh fifteen. I have to spend nine thousand dollars to get two of them, so I have to charge two thousand dollars for a bundle to make it even possible, right, guys? Right? Love it. I love these guys. I owe basically these guys. Th these guys' this misinformation is the reason why my channel can survive, dude. That's basically what it is. Isn't that fucking... And they all hate me. But they're my best allies, too. Love it. Love it, dude. Okay, hang on. Um, Igor's Lab. 4900K. Okay, we're, we're... But I will post this on YouTube. Because I'm not a piece of shit. But we will go over why this is just brutal misinformation. <laughs> it doesn't matter, though. Because nobody's going to see my content anyway. So a 13900KS... And a 14900K are the exact same. Um, okay, let's try this out. So, I couldn't resist running a few RAM OC tests as well. So, let's start with that. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay. Uh, has the RAM controller been improved? We already know it has not at all. Uh... Okay, here, okay, here's, here, here's where shit starts getting fucked up. It's, somebody on Twitter said it best. Either Igor doesn't know what the fuck he's doing, or he did this on purpose to make more CPUs fail. That's the part that doesn't make any sense, right? Because... He did 1.6 volts on specially binned single rank high neck 16 gigabit 8i. And other voltages set to auto. Th there's too many things in that sentence that don't add up. Right? So, if it was specially binned, it wouldn't need 1.6 volts. Um, 8000 XMP sticks run at 1.45 volts the 16 gigabit 8i ones not the 24 gigabit ones right so why would he go and shove 1.6 into them and then if you do use 1.6 volts you can't leave the other ones auto it, he would he would have had a higher success rate instead of two out of the 15 working he would have had a higher success rate if he lowered his fucking v dim so that doesn't make any sense again so why so he went out of his way to make more cpus fail it seems like that's or he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing 
that's what doesn't that's what doesn't make any sense about this entire fucking thing right and yeah he didn't the misinformation he didn't technically misinform anybody because he said what he did it's just what he said he did skews the results into more failures than necessary which i don't know why they did that no not never he does this on the apex too so never mind the four dim motherboard right um and he left the timings at the default 1.45 volt timings right so 38 48 48 48 you only need 1.55 volt for this so what the fuck was he doing what was the thought process there golden rule number one no one knows what the fuck they're doing it seems like i didn't think igor was part of this fucking list but holy shit dude what the fuck so let's uh hang on ram clock is increased until wide cruncher can no longer create 10 errors okay so i bet you it was, i bet you it was probably zero out of 15 that actually worked if he did car who for 24 hours right nothing about this makes sense dude why would he do this sure but then I'd, why not use 1.5 volts then or 1.45 he said the sticks were specially binned what was special about them specially binned to require 1.6 volts to run at 8,000 8, C38? That doesn't make any fucking sense. I call bullshit. DDR5, 8,000 can only be achieved by 215 CPUs and only on the Apex motherboard. This is how you know. This is how you know. Um, th this should have been a red flag here, right? One of the CPUs doesn't even manage 7,000 on a hero. <laughs> That's fucking impossible. That's literally physically impossible. The fact that Intel promises 8,000 megabits per second seems. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't disagree with this though. I don't. I. I don't know why Intel did that. There it is. Yeah, this is it. This is it. Higher XMP speeds beyond 8,000 mega transfers. There it is. Yeah. This is fucking misinformation. I guess maybe you could even argue that this wasn't in because there are XMP kits that go beyond 8,000 megahertz. It doesn't say that it's stable. This is the fucking gray area of misinformation. So, so, oh, god damn, dude. So let's say let's say you were in my Discord and you said, "Uh, Intel can do 8,000 megahertz." Technically, it can. Now, if you said all of them can do 8,000 megahertz, no, that's misinformation. Now, if you said XMP goes above 8,000 megahertz, that's not misinformation. Right? It, I, 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 pref I prefer to just be like an umbrella of like, can you just not do that shit, please? Like, I, I would just put it all under misinformation and just get that. Like, because when you start dealing with gray areas, it gets too confusing for normies, man. Because when you when a normie looks at this, what are they going to think? It works at 8,000 megahertz. Did you guys see the um, Asus AMD slide? 8,000 megahertz. There it is. There it is, there it is, there it is. Pushing the limits. DDR5 performance redefined. Now support... This is it. I wonder if this will come up. Now supports mind-blowing DDR5 speeds of 8,000 megatransfers with BIOS update. Setting new standards for speed and reliability. They don't say it's faster. What is, a, what is a normie gonna see when they see that? How many people in my fucking comment section say, 
Why aren't you using 8,000 megahertz on, on AMD? How many people in my comment section? Because they don't know. They see this shit. Is it misinformation? Technically not. Is it a fucking piece of shit move? Absolutely. They could... I, I hate it, dude. I hate scummy marketing. I hate... Uh, so, basically, when it comes to me personally, I call this misinformation because they know what they're doing. They're not idiots. They're purposely misleading a normie into buying shit. It's like Gigabyte when Gigabyte did the whole 10 gigahertz shit. Or when Azrock was like, our Aqua motherboard broke world records, but then they sell you a four dim Aqua instead. It's, it's fucking scummy shit, dude. It's scummy ass shit. Don't do this shit. I don't like this. This is misinformation for me. 100%. I don't like that shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me catch you up here. So technically, Igor didn't misinform anybody, but there's some piece of shittery going on here, dude. This is this is horrendously misleading people with wrong information. Horrendous. Now, it does not benefit me to say that at all. I make more money the more people think it's impossible. Now, what is the real ratio of 8,000s? How, how many have I done here? Hang on, let me let me think. Let me let me calculate this. There was um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've done nine. Nine bundles. Two R seventy eight hundred one eighty two hundred and the rest were eight thousands. So that's uh six. Six eight thousands. So that's that's my ratio when I manually tune the voltages. Um so what percentage is that? So he said two out of 15, right? Two divided by 15. So he, so according to Igor, 13% chance of getting 8,000. Um, and I got seven out of nine. Seven of nine. Fuck yeah, dude. That chick held up in the new Picard series. 78% chance to hit 8,000 on Apex. N not XMP. Manual. Like real, real fucking statistics here. So that's, that's, that's a drastic fucking difference, right? That's, th this is, this is fucking misinformation, right? Because of the testing methodology that he used to acquire his number. That's why it's misinformation. Now, if he manually, obviously manually tuning them, but even just using 1.5 volts, he, his number would have at least doubled or tripled in terms of uh, how many would have passed. If he went from 1.6 to 1.5, that's all he had to do.